So another interesting tip and trick that I like to sometimes recommend to folks is just about what happens when somebody reaches your site and they really don't understand. So I look in your help system and I can't figure out something there. I'm looking on the page. I'm doing different things and I want to submit some kind of feedback because I either have an idea or I really want to lodge a complaint or whatever it might be. But overall what happens is SharePoint doesn't really give us a great way to sit there and say uh, without opening up our email, sending out something to an administrator to kind of give feedback, provide ideas, kind of as a person goes through. And a lot of times that in contextual feedback can be very good because people may forget about things or not have all the information about some of the information they want to give. So one of the great things, especially if you're just initially rolling it out and it's a, to a lot of people and a lot of new processes, is do something simple. Now in this area right here, we've actually just added this simple icon over here in the corner. You click that and that actually goes to a submit feedback form, which you can very easily do that. Now obviously this was used for something else. You probably wouldn't put the gender of the user to submitting feedback, but over Overall, it's just something very simple, something quick you can do, but add a lot of power. This could then uh, generate an email or an alert or go to a list which is stored and then you know administrators check it whatever it might be but it kind of gives not only the user the ability to provide feedback but it also gives them some involvement and sees that they can actually do something helpful.